from back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this beautiful off shoulder gown. I just don't know, or I, I make a lot of off shoulder gown. So, to make this gown, I'll still be using my, I'll still be drafting it based, using the basic bodies. So, what I'm going to do first. First of all, I've gone ahead to pin the front and the back panel as I always do. So for the front panel, I measured 42 inches of an Ankara fabric. And for the back panel, I also measured 42 inches. Then I went ahead to fold the, the fabric into two. So I have a total of four pieces. So I have two, but folded into two and pin here. One for the front panel and one for the back. So this, this place is on fold. So I'll using my basic bodies block. I'll be I'll first of all determine the the length of the off shoulder. I want the off shoulder to be six. So six is right here. But I marked five because I'll be folding it where I'll be using elastic on the neckline. So to so incorporate that fold, that space for elastic, I added one inches. So that is five. So I'll go ahead and fold that here. Fold that. Then on the fabric, I'll be adding from the center points, I'll be marking three inches to incorporate the gather on the dress so this is my three inches the same thing i'm marking the same thing at the back panel too okay so i'll go ahead and place that and place my my pattern on that three inches I also assume that this is the starting, I'll mark the starting point of the dress of the cutting. So this is the starting point here. So on that starting point, where the gather allowance and the starting point, and the starting point is I'll just go ahead and place my pattern there. So hold it down with something. That is it. Next thing you're going to do is to use your big ruler and place it just under the armhole measurement and connect it to the edge trim. In a slant, in a slant way like this. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Just straight, straight line. Also, from that point, you'll be marking the desired length. Place your ruler, your tape, on the starting point of the pattern, and mark desired length. The desired length of this dress is 44. Just you have to take out the space you added for the off, off shoulder, which is five inches. I've taken out that, and 44. This is 44, so I have extra one inch. So I'll be using that as the hemming allowance. So just go ahead and cut that out.
that's the armhole call so and do the same here So the next thing I'm going to do guys is to mark the, the place for the pockets. I want the pockets to be just above my hip. So from the from that from the arm hook or where the arm hook off ended, my hip is just around 13 inches. So I'll mark that here. That's the starting point of the pockets for the front and the back panel. And the pocket will be around five and a half inches in length, in width. So just go ahead and make a notch there so that you know where the pocket will begin. So that's it for the the grid guys. For the sleeve, I've gone ahead to measure twelve inches and ten inches in weight. So what I'm going to do is to do that under the armhole under the the pattern and cut as the armhole. Remember I added extra one inch on the shoulder on the off shoulder so that I'll be able to add the elastic on it. I'll go ahead and add the same one inch. Rather, I'll add one inch on the sleeve too to be able to accommodate the space for elastic. So I'm going to do just mark that. I hope what I'm saying is not confusing, guys. Please, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. So what we have after doing that is. We have eight eight inches. That's a total of sixteen inches for the sleeve round. Remember, this place will be having elastic too, and we'll be folding that with a um, one inch. That's a, um, and the sleeve length will be eleven. That's. Although I have 12 here, but I'll be using one inch to fold it just like I did in this side. So just go ahead and cut that out. At the end of the day, this is what we have. This is what the dress will look like after I'll just go ahead and connect these two points together. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut. There'll be elastic in those points, there'll be elastic here, there'll be elastic here too. So and there'll be pockets. So I'm going to cut the pockets now. For the pockets, I have four pieces of fabric here. That's one, two, three, four. So, remember, we will, the space for the pocket, we left five and a half inches for this pocket. So, I assume this is the starting point.
I assume this this is the starting point of the of the pocket. So I need to do just to determine the the pocket width. This is that's five and a half inches. So now add extra one inch for seam allowance. That's six and a half. So I'll mark that right here. So to determine the depth of the pocket, I'm just I'm just going to place my hand. So this the depth of the pocket will be around here. But I want it to be a bit longer than that. So I will add this extra three inches on it. So go ahead and mark the same allowance all over and cut that out. clear as possible so this is what we use for the pockets we have two piece for each of the pockets so we have this two piece for the right pocket we have this two piece for the left pocket and now you need to just use elastic depending on based on the this thing we the, the, the space we created I'll be using half inch elastic a to sew the dress this is what i mean by half inch i hope you guys find this tutorial easy to replicate please feel free to leave a comment ask christian in the comment section i'll try my best to answer thank you for watching see you guys in my next video bye